Question 22. It might help, possibly, just to kind of think of a little tree diagram, okay? We take out two socks. So we've got black, white, black, white, black, white. Now the question is, the probability that Joshua takes one white sock in one black sock is 6 over 11. So that's these two branches here. So we need to think about how we actually work out those two branches. Now annoyingly, it hasn't told me how many black socks there are. It says that they're wide, just to be, um, just to be awkward. So the probability of getting a black sock initially will be, well, there are Y black socks. Now, how many, blacks, uh, how many socks are there altogether? Well, there are Y plus 5. Now start thinking about the second part. So we would then multiply that by now getting a white one. So that would be 5, because there'd be 5 white socks, over y plus how many socks would there be all together four and then coming down this branch down here so that would be so the chances of getting that first white sock five because there's five initially and y plus five and multiply that by now chances of getting a black sock would be y over y plus 4. Now we know that if we do these two calculations and add them together, then we should get 6 over 11. Now, if we do this bit, that's just going to be 10y over um, y plus 5 times y plus 4. And then the other one's going to be exactly the same. So we're going to have 5y and 5y. So if we combine everything together, we're actually just going to get this. So it's going to, because both of them are effectively the same. So then we've got y plus 5. Now it looks really complicated and horrible, this, but it's not so bad. And we know it's equal to 6 over 11. So multiply both sides by by that denominator and multiply both sides by that denominator there. So that gives us 110y equals 6 um, multiplied by y plus 5 and y plus 4. So if I just multiply that out, that's going to be y squared plus 9y. Let's write that in properly. I have no idea why that's just turned to green. And plus 20, just there. Right, multiply that out so I've got a little bit more room, a little bit squeezed in there, and then that equals, so what are we going to get? We're going to get 6y squared plus 54y, and that was 20, so that would be 120. Let's just make a little bit of room. So we need to make it equal to zero. There's lots of things that we could do here. So if we take away 110y from both sides, so just do one thing at a time. Um, so that's going to give me minus uh, 56y and still plus 120. Now everything's even there. So if I just half each number, so take away... 28y plus 60, and we know that, that is equal to zero. Okay, and that's if you just go back up to the top of the question, that's what we were trying to get to. Now, let's focus on the second part of the question. Now, remember, if it's a show that you're going to be pretty sure that that could come in quite handy, but we'll see. So, it says find the probability that Joshua takes two black socks. Okay, so let's have a little think about what needs to happen for that to be the case. Taking two black socks. Well, I'll tell you what might be a good idea. Is let's just work out what Y is. Okay, let's solve it. 
let's find out what that's going to be. Now, if you solve this, just sub it into, like you've got a calculator, you could just sub it into um, uh, the quadratic formula, okay? And then you should find that y will equal either 10 over 3, or y could equal 6. Now clearly, it can't be 10 over 3. It has to be a whole number. So therefore, y has to be equal to 6. So there must be 6 black socks and 5 white socks. Now the rest of the question should be quite easy because what's the chances of taking the first black sock? It will be 6 over 11 and then multiply that by another black sock. Well there's one less and there's one less overall. So that's 30 over 110, which is well, quite clearly both are divisible by 10, so 3 over 11. 